All right, what's up? Just got the NVX capacitor. Um, it's the one ferret, and I'm getting ready to do an unboxing. All right, here we go. All right, <clears throat> I hate those unboxings. I don't know about y'all, but I can't stand to watch somebody tear some stuff up out of plastic and then show you every little thing. I can't stand it. I always fast forward past it. We ain't doing all that shit. All right, so look. There's the capacitor right there. That's what it looked like. Got your positive and negative, you know. Um, that's pretty much it. This is the uh, charging tool, Allen wrench. These didn't come with it. I'll be using those later. Instructions. All right, so here's the story. I got one of these because I bought a Planet Audio and it was I don't I don't know I'm, I'm not sure if it's I don't think it's doing anything. We're gonna do a check check out right quick. I'm gonna do a little test, so uh, we'll go look at the other one and see exactly what it's doing. Okay, so here's my uh, Planet Audio capacitor right there. It's under this net. See it, Planet Audio. It is a two ferret a capacitor <clears throat> now a capacitor is supposed to store amounts of energy that the amplifier needs <clears throat> so that it won't drain so much from the battery and the lights and the other electrical systems in the car so it's kind of like that stiffener power stiffener if you can imagine when the base hit your voltage can drop as low as you know i've seen it drop as low as 10 volts with the car running and uh, you don't ever want your car to run at 10 volts with the computer systems and stuff like that, and especially newer model cars. And this capacitor is designed, well, they say that this capacitor is designed for up to 2,000 watts. I only got 900, which I'm really only using 450, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's supposed to stabilize the voltage, but I don't know, it's all over the place. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it a shot and see. Um, we're gonna test it out and see what it do, so. All right. So now we got the system hitting voltage. Like we're dropping down to about like, a, see if y'all can see that real good. It's 12, I see 12, one. I got two of them, so. See what that one is saying. It's got a glare on, it's kinda hard to see it, but. 12, 5, 12, 2. I actually have a, another one we can look at down here on this. So I'm getting like about 12, dropping down when the bass hit about 12, 1. That's enough to make those lights dim. I don't know if you can see this. All right, so this is where the bass dropped out at. And then when the bass hit, right now we're at 12. Yeah, you can see that in the daytime. Major light damage. Let's see about this. Disconnect the power lead. Uh, and see how much, or how, so, how, let's say how long it takes to drain just to go down. Let's see. All right, and we are off. So, right now, it's getting nothing. And it's falling. Falling kind of slow. Up, oh, up, oh, starting to go down. Uh oh, so I see now we don't we lose the meter when we drop the negative. Negative. 
that stay on there. But I guess we'll you'd have to time this yourself. I'm probably all in the way, but you see it falling. And the uh, only load that's really on it right now is the voltage meter. Yeah, there it is. It's going down nine volts. I don't know how long that took, but we should time it. Maybe uh, comment down below on how long it took for it to drop after we lost the power on it. So now we're getting ready to install the NVX. And uh, let me kill the motor. So we'll be installing the NVX. You know what? I need to. See that? That's what it came with. I stuck it through the paper. They don't do that. They're not even that nice, but it came with this little um, resistor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna properly discharge before we disconnect it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is, this is the Planet Audio now. We're not, this is not the one we're reviewing, but we're gonna discharge it. All right, so. take the resistor basically go from one leg to the other leg and secure it under the screw the best you can I know I'm all in the way but there we go so now that's draining it down and that's how you discharge it um yeah it's discharging. You see it fading away. Uh, it's gone now. Completely dead. Yep. Now it's safe to remove it. So we're gonna take the Planet Audio 2 Ferret, supposedly 2 Ferret, and uh, we're gonna replace it with the NVX. Right back. All right, so uh, it's charging. Uh, green light is on. It's charging slowly going up like 9.2 9.3 it's gonna take a while just want to show this part you do have to charge the thing properly I've got my wires connected up here it's the positive and that's the negative that's my negative block going to my power inverter and a battery maintainer and we're up to about 10.1 volts so we'll check back when it's all installed we can meet up and coexist. Okay, well, it looks like I still got voltage dropping down to 12. <clears throat> At first, it was 12.1. Or 12, was it 12.1? So we remember this break in the song. Then the bass come back. All right, there's definitely a pretty good draw. 12, I just hit 12. Let's check the uh, built-in meter I got right over here. So we're at 12, 13. 13.5, just hit 12.5. Well, we'll put it like this. We just did the capacity test, but as you can see right here, I did not do the big three. There's my power and there's my negative right there. Got a regular alternator down there. And I guess that answers the question right there. Right. 
brain in this bitch because So I guess what we found out here is it doesn't matter if you don't do the big three, it doesn't matter what kind of what kind of capacitor you get, whether it's a cheap capacitor or expensive capacitor or middle of the road, one ferret, two ferret, ten ferret, don't matter. You gotta do the big three. So I guess the next project will be the big three. But as of now, you know, it's not really killing anything. I my lights are still dimming a little bit. Um I'm not sure if it's doing anything or not, but maybe after the big three. So, you know, um, if you're going to invest in something like this, uh, do the big three, then add a comp capacitor. And maybe, you know, maybe, maybe it'll work. But for me, it was the same result. So, Planet Audio to NVX. $29, $89, pretty much same end result, <clears throat> but it was a good test. Now you guys know, do the big three and then we'll come back. So look out for part two on the big three and uh, with the MVX capacitor.